currently sat in a chopper. Who would have thought? Hello, Joel speaking. Good morning everyone. Today is, I think it's like my fifth day in New York already. And it's the first day where I can come out and wear a t-shirt. The weather's changing, it's getting good. So on today's agenda, there's three things that I wanna go and do. I love museums and New York is filled with museums. So I'm gonna be going to a couple of the museums. There's a museum called the Intrepid and it basically has sea, land and space stuff and I'm a bit of a dork when it comes to space. So I'm gonna be going there first. After that, we're gonna be going to the iconic walkway in New York and then we're gonna to go to the famous Cat's Delicatessen for a uh, salt beef sandwich. Gonna go have a little exploring session today. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba. Ba -ba. So I'm pretty sure that I'm coming up on it now. Oh my lord. <laughs> I'm very excited. I'm gonna go to the flight deck first and then I'm gonna come back down. planes are bonkers that's a stealth fighter jet i'm not sure if these are decommissioned planes or they're just replicas being on the ship is mental so they were telling me that this ship was bought by the museum for one dollar when it was being decommissioned otherwise it was basically going to be turned into metal cans Okay, so this is the bit I'm most excited for, the space stuff. There's a NASA spaceship in here and there's also a Mars rover. Oh Holy crap. I didn't actually realize how big a space shuttle is until I've just seen it. Oh my Lord. I'm interested to know how they got their spaceship in here. <laughs> I wish I was able to portray how big this thing is. Not possible. So I've just realized that, that I just figured out how they got a spaceship in there. Is that it was built around it after because obviously the, this is the deck and then below me is the ship. I wonder if I can get in here. This is obviously where they're restoring planes. Whoa, this is sick. I'll be honest, I've got no idea where I'm walking to. I'm not even sure if I'm even allowed in here. This has been blocked off. This is where Captain's deck is, I think. I don't even know if I'm allowed this. It's like, oh my lord. There's like no one in here, so I don't know if I'm allowed. I think I am allowed in here. What is this? This is a wheel that controls a rudder that steers the ship. Oh wow, this room right here, right? This is the place, captain's bridge. And this is 
which sends signals down to the engine rooms for speed, direct control. This just sends a signal down to the engine rooms. How old is this ship? She is, uh, let's see, she's commissioned in uh, 43. 1943? Yeah. Wow, and when was it decommissioned? 74. Okay, and this is quite a small ship compared to the new ones, right? Compared to the new ones, not even half the size. <laughs> this is uh, 42,000 tons, they're between 95 and 100,000. Wow. Whoa. Got an awesome little view here. I'm petrified of heights, so. It's a bit too high up for me, but this is sick. Captain's chair. Him looking out all of this in the middle of the sea. Oh, I'm definitely gonna fall on my face here. Gee, it's so steep. I really want to open one of these doors. Didn't you, uh, you know, we spent another week uh, out of Jackson Hole. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't think I've ever been on a submarine either. I've heard it's quite eerie, like quite claustrophobic. While I'm here, it's a decommissioned sub. So we're gonna go have a look at this. I would definitely say if you're like interested in aerospace, planes, ships, definitely to come down here for sure. I'm trying to do my best to show you guys what it's like and how big the ships are and planes and this camera is doing it no favours whatsoever. And let's see if I can get a bit higher so I can show you some of these helicopters. Can I do it on my own? No, it has to be two people. Thing is the machine won't go up unless there's a counterweight to you. Oh really? What's the best way if I want to do it? I have to find someone. Yeah, find somebody. So I couldn't go on the uh, the G-Force machine. Uh, you need two people, I'm on my own. And there's not enough people here for me to ask, which is a shame. They've, uh, they've turned the machine off here. That's all I'm saying. I'm currently sat in a chopper. Who would have thought? Joe speaking. And this is the notoriously famous Concorde supersonic jet. One thing I would say is it's very narrow in here. Like this whole undercarriage is super narrow. Practice? Alright, so I recommend like this. He said claustrophobia. It's gonna be interesting. Grower was a key part of the United States nuclear deterrence strategy. The United States believed that the threat of nuclear weapons lurking offshore would deter the Soviet Union from launching a strike against the United States. This has got a very eerie feel to it. This is nuts. I'm in a submarine. To think that there was people living like this, this is nuts. Oh my God, there's a toilet in here. No door? What's that about? And this is the entrance where you got to go through holes. Oh. Kitchens in here, living room space. These are the bunks. This is nuts. Office estate room.
Inside, yes. So, Joel, yes. three people to run this submarine. Three? Is this, this the this control deck? Yes. This oh, is wow. where they move the submarine. This is a steer. Helmsman that controls left and right. This person controls depth up and down. This person controls the angle on the entire ship. How do you know you're not going to crash into something? Most of the ocean is so deep, yeah. you're not going to be able to hit anything. And we do have very accurate charts. And are you able to tell when you're close to the bottom? The bottom's okay because you have a fathometer. Yeah, yeah. But up ahead, no. No. Because we don't, we don't use active sonar. The fathometer that pings yeah. is, is secure. It's very narrow, uh -huh. very quiet, looking just for the bottom. But up ahead, yeah. we usually only use passive sonar. We listen. Yeah, yeah. Because you don't want to ping. Because then somebody will say, hey, we can see. Yes, yeah, exactly yeah. right. Yeah. So we rely on the charts. Well, you, we, did you sail on this boat? No. This sub? No. You just know how submarines work? Why well, so, sail on five? Oh, you sail on five? Yeah, and I worked with the Royal Navy too. They're oh, great. Wow. They're great, but they know how to have a good time. <laughs> Us Brits, we try to. Oh, you're good at it. This is awesome. Good. This is the, and this is where you could see up above? That's how the periscope can uh, go up with the submarine still completely submerged. Oh, wow. Lovely to meet you, sir. Good to meet you. Thank Joel. you very much. See you. Have a good trip. And to think how they made these ships is bonkers. Sonar room. This is the kitchen. These are obviously the bunks where people slept. The space, submarines, all that stuff, just human engineering just is crazy. Oh. You've got showers in here, little toilet. This is awesome. This obviously looks like the engine room. Like when you think about it, who thinks to build stuff like this? <laughs> These, this is obviously the torpedo room. So back there you've got two silo bells. You can see it here. We're at the torpedo room. We just walk through pretty much the entire ship. And you've got people that are here that sleep here just in case they need to release the torpedo at any time. So cool, man. Just ticked off going into a submarine off my bucket list. And then this is the little gift shop at the end. You can pick up some souvenirs and a couple of other bits. Well, if I do say so myself, I thoroughly enjoyed that. I think my favorite bit was the spacecraft that they've built on top. So I'm currently walking down the high line. It's basically a big bridge. You can walk all around New York. But in the summer, it's packed up here. There's so many people, there's like little live performances, loads of stuff going on here. So wicked, it's, it's in the sort of Chelsea area. So you've got Chelsea Market down the road, which is a little market where you can buy food and other bits and bobs. It's an expensive area around here for sure. This walkway is basically like a bit of greenery. So sort of fresh now, obviously a cool New York concrete city. So it's a little bit of a far walk to Cat's Deli. So I'm gonna get the train down there. I'm gonna get a salt beef sandwich. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. A white, white bread, please. Thank you, man. So, so good. Bonkers. They give you this massive plate of salt beef and a plate of pickles as well. Bang it. Talk about beef to bread ratio. Cheers. Wow. I forget how good this is. And the mustard's not too spicy either. The mustard in this 
seaweed is, isn't even spicy, it's like quite sweet. It's a good sandwich. Last bite. Banging, banging sandwich. Right, let's get out of here. So I'm just making my way back to Gary's apartment now to grab my stuff. And I'm gonna be going to do a haircut. Right, so it started raining a bit, so I couldn't give the guy a haircut that I was going to meet, but I'm on my way to a fella I met on couch surfing, and he's gonna be hosting me for the next two days while I'm in New York. Hopefully gonna be able to give him a haircut as well as a thank you for letting me stay. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Joel. Come on in. Awesome. So this is your pad, this is your bed. And oh um, so you're looking yeah. for a haircut as well, I hope? Yeah, I mean, I have really short hair, but yeah. I had a lot of people during COVID that just got stuck here for some reason, couldn't come or go. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel comfortable. And plus, it's like, I mean, look, if you steal something from here, it's your loss, not mine. Like, yeah, no, no. You can always come, I'm not you. Yeah, like, yeah of one. course. Like, you can always come back here. Yeah, this yeah. could be your home in New York. No, you I know, come man. Back next year, well, if you're ever on. in London, man, please give me a yeah. shout and I'd love yeah. to host you. Don't worry about it, man. It's all good. Don't burn the Place down. No, never, man. I'm, yeah. a, I'm very courteous. Yeah. <laughs> At least I tried to be. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Yeah. You'll be amazing. Thank you for having me, man. I can't yeah. thank you enough. Please, it's all good. Give me a home to stay. Yeah, just, you know. Beats hotel lobbies, I'll tell you that. <clears throat> Definitely beats hotel lobbies. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, bro. I'll catch you in a bit.